What is she looking at? Tetra? Are you okay? <laughs> Tetra? Are you good? What are what you are doing? You? Show me where the owner of that voice is. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. Last time, we destroyed Manendorf. <laughs> or Falcondork. Or Falcondorf. Or Ganondorf. Or da Ganondorf. All of the co collusions of the names. Collusions isn't a word. Convolutions? Convolutions. And this time we're here. And Tetra did a good job of the intro. This looks like a church. It a does. Old church. I like that. Go forward. Go forth with delusions of grandeur. She is so slow. Yep. Now, what'd be. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? Whoa, what? What? That was odd. Okay, then. That, that was really odd. Are you him? Are you the one who was speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me. I'd actually wondered if we had gone to the picture if she would have said something. Yeah. That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean... Hylian? Misspell there. Royal family. I am the one who made it. <laughs> you made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero. The place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place where the two of you now stand is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king. Daphne, Daphne's? Daphne's, yeah. Daphne's no Hansen Hyrule. <laughs> Link, do not recognize my voice. Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the king of Red Lions. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you f so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself, and so, with the torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So, before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who could build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. Only hundreds, really? So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of the sacred treasure known as the Triforce of Wisdom, which, is, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it, and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The, Triforf the Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
My fate. You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. Ah, uh, Link. Nah. You are Princess Zelda. You have acquired the Triforce of Makeup. <laughs> Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link, I'm terribly sorry that you've been caught up in these events. But now that it is... Oops. What? What? Nothing. Say it. That's him talking. Is it? Yeah. Oh. That's not obvious at all. No. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda. I love his voice. Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. She will not rest, or he, sorry. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Whoa, man, that's like Link's tryhard face. Link, <laughs> I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. Oh, wait, that's her. Maybe, I don't know. It's not obvious at this point. I have a suspicion about what caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Okay. <laughs> Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Link, we must go. I'm best friends with the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of creepy, actually. That's really creepy. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm upgrading that to major creepy. Ugh. Disgusting. Link. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's been all my fault. I'm so sorry. We'll go to Arby's later, it'll be K. It's K because I got oranges. Link, be careful. Now what does she get to do? Just stay there and rot? She's just gonna rot to death. I mean, she has water, but she has no food. I guess she needs to fit into the dress better. So she's going on a starvation diet. And now the statue is back. And I continue my cell voice because it is fun. It's the most fun voice I have other than Will... Walter Wolfstash. Where are you going? It's the wrong I way. Go, I want to see if I can get out this way real quick. Also, in case yeah, that it wasn't obvious, that's that's the name of that voice. Okay, are you gonna go past the statue of Lonk and uh, get out here? Get out of this place? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lonk is love. Lonk is life. All hail Danky Kang. <laughs> no, no, no. Lonk is love. Sanic is life. All hail the mighty Danky Kang. <laughs> okay, get get in the stupid happy boat. Oh. Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil re suggests to me that the pa that okay let's start that again. Ahem. The power to re repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. The sages should be in here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head to these two temples to see what has happened to the sages and attempt to find a way to res to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temple. Ooh, that would have been so cool, though. That would have been Why nice. did the... Uh, the uh, <clears throat> but... Each temple should have another entrance high on Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. 
As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw the en our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. He is Perfect Cell. Not Imperfect Cell, because that voice is far too straining. Let's fly up into the heavens, ascend! That was a lot of text. Link, more text. Do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once, long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time and he kept it safe, must as mu bleh, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred place is known as sacred peace, I can't read, is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time is called to embark on another journey, he left the land of Hyrule. He, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. Interesting. It was said at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. The Triforce of Courage is the only way that, only key that will once again open the doorway to Hyrule. You must search for it. Now? Not now, right? No, not now. That's later. Okay, just making sure. Okay, we're going to... where? Windfall? Windfall. We're going to Windfall. Why? Because the remainder of this episode is going to be spent getting more heart pieces, which is your favorite thing. We've done a lot enough venture, adventure. I would like to get a couple more heart pieces knocked out, uh, and then we can go do fun times. Why can't we go see the fairy? That'll come later. That'll become in my episode. Ugh, you give me the boring stuff. Nerd. How rude. Why How are we going? Rude. Wait, Windfall. Wait Hold on. We only have six. We do not have feathers? enough yet. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately. Oh, and wait, one more thing, Nova. Go ahead and warp. But we have an, another couple side quests open to us. Can you in stop speaking in that voice? Including the bottle. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop. Instead, I'll talk about the bottle side quest. <laughs> Please don't. Now, a bunch of things in Windfall Island have changed, but one thing that has stayed the same, but we haven't explored it, is this shop with the very scary sign showing Leandri's torment and a bottle of ashes. Go inside. Okay. Smoking ashes. Because you know what they say, where there's ash, there's fire. Far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go, go, go talk to the man. This guy reminds me a lot of the the potion dude in uh, in Ocarina. <sighs> Is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm. Oh. Ah. This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly development. Man, I guess he could say that he wants what we have. He's jelly. Oh. I've never seen one of this particular hue on Paw Print Island, a small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. For when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I have been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh. That's it. That's it, 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 that's it. That's the sparkle I was looking for. The sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I began my now legendary studies of chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first new inspiration in years vanishes. Ah. That voice is perfect for this guy. Key to the cell, the imperfect cell voice. When there's silence, fill the silence with ah. Emperor's new groove. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call him Isma. Okay. It, it's ready at last. My new chew jelly concoction. 
It's still piping hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. So, I guess sometime, we should, um, we should open up a band so we can jam. Oh, You got some green potion. Why are you on this text still? la dee do. My next project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You come back anytime. Ah. Okay, leave. Nova was really anxious to get a potion. So she could drink it. Yep. Man, I want my breath to be green. <laughs> I would like to point out on top of the frame there all of the fumes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the cell the per cell voice is the wrong voice for him. Maybe it should be something really high. Okay, where are we going? Nighttime. That's yes. where we're going. That's a destination, by the way. Nighttime. The time is actually a destination. You know that? Really? Yeah, I, I'm an expert on time. <laughs> Link needs a haircut. Okay, uh, let's let's fill the silence with some actual talking because this is not this is not a silent playthrough. This is one of my favorite side quests in the game. Go talk to Woman. Yes. Hello, Woman. Shh, shh, shh. Take off. Go away. Alrighty then. I think we need to talk. To oh, never mind. No, we're good. Okay, now if you talk to her okay. in the day, she's actually the rich girl. But she was the rich girl. But her dad. Hi. Her dad spent so much mammon, that's money, I believe in Hebrew, um, that it, for, he spent so much money rescuing her that he's now poor. He's, he is replacing the poor guy. And now, the rich girl is on the street. So if we follow her, we'll find out so that she's up to some mischievousness. Except I've done this so many times, I know her route, and I can just skip ahead to where I know she's going to be. Oh, and by the way, we don't really have Tinkle right now because we don't need him. Okay, go up there. Now, if she if she spots you, she'll reset and you have to reset the day. So, we don't want that to happen. Um, she will see you even if you're around a corner. So, you kind of have to maintain a lot of distance from her. What? Oh, that's what you're doing. This is my favorite strategy to completing this side quest. You stake the place out, da -da -ba -da -da and then stratagem. swoop in from above with And shoot her leak. in the head. Right? No. Oh, that's not what you're going to say? No. Oh. Uh. Oh, there she is. Oh, man. Br no! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Drat. You failed it. I was going to tell you. You get out, and she can totally see you. Okay. Take two. Shh, shh. Take off, go away! <laughs> <laughs> what? Nova! I didn't- I was running away! You need to keep running, no you stopped! No I didn't! I stopped! Reset the, the day! The game forced me to stop because she turned around! It was not my fault. That's- I'm counting that as a death. You're counting that as game over? It'd be really funny if that was a game over. She just runs up to you just like, yeah! and kills you. <laughs> with like Wolverine claws coming out of her, her eyelashes. What? <laughs> Quit while you're behind, Someone please. paint her with Wolverine, <laughs> Wolverine <laughs> claws coming out of her eyelashes. And poison darts coming out of her nose. <laughs> what on earth? Do you have any stealth music in your repertoire? I'm playing it. There once was a man right now called Shinigan. Finnegan, Michael Finnegan. I thought it was Shinigan. No. Oh, there once was a man named Michael Finnegan who had some whiskers on his chin again, and when he shot someone in the head, he went to prison for death. What? <laughs> <laughs> there once was a man named Michael Finnegan who had some whiskers. What did what you on do? Earth? Where? Where was she? Oh my goodness, that's creepy. Look above you. Look <gasps> above you. Be... Look above you. Staring right into your soul. Oh, she's going. She's going. Do it. She's do it. going. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. She said the. She said the same. She said the same. Slow down. No, this is fine. No, you're gonna fly in there. 
Nova! You ruined the entire that's, purpose of that. That's how I do it. Who's there? <laughs> what? Wait, what? What? I'm quoting the book from this, okay? Mm hmm If you're not hidden, Myla sees you and runs off, and you have to start over. If you're partly hi hidden, Link meows like a cat to fool Myla when she looks over. Eventually, you're able to follow Myla into Zunari's stall where she tries to break open the safe. The meowing is Link. What? The meowing is seriously Link. All so, this time, I thought it was her crying and running off. Of course, because Link doesn't say anything. Yeah. But that's him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's too funny. <laughs> Yo, catch her, catch her, catch her, catch her! Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what <on laughs> Who's Earth? there? <laughs> 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 okay. Great aim, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yes. Yes. No. We did it. Oh. You, you, you. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. You, 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 you start of me. What do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you? The kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people. That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? No, I have justice. <laughs> a what? An, an ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse. That's all it was. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're still mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, I owe you you owe me that much. Sure. I once was the richest little what is that? Debutante. Debutante. Debutante in this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in this, his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune. Gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day from morning until night, I'm busy working in the open air shop. So, as you can see, I'm at least trying to settle in my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events of my pitiful life? It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's an option. It's horrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out, that slob Maggie, who is the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Grr. Do you understand my plight? Very well, I guess. Then you'll let me go? But why not? Because I'm honest, bro. It's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing. But being po so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. This is really wearing at my throat. I'll never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please, take this. We got a bottle! <laughs> Bottles are great for carrying water. You okay over there? Yes, and other things. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Humph. <laughs> so, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. 
Bye. Thanks for tonight. Her name is Malzahar. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or the evil wiz wizard Jafar. Okay, we're done with that. Thank goodness. With cheese on top. Turn it to daytime, please. Okay. In case you're wondering why I gave her that voice, it's kind of because it took us a long time doing that. Ugh. That was dumb. Anyway, let's go talk to the rich people's place. We're gonna talk to their place, not them. Talk to Maggie. Oh, to think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm. But no. No, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side. It's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing that name lifts my spirits. Mo. The wondrous moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo, why, Mo? I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with oh my overwhelming emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Ah, oh. this is bad, terribly bad. I've drifted off in my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you possibly take the letter I've just finished inking? Inking and b deliver it to the post box for me. Please, I beg of you. Sure. We live to serve. Wow, what, really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. We got Maggie's letter. Okay, move along. Let's go, let's go mail it for her. The post box, don't you dare forget. But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she desires. Can we read it? I hope so. Let's let's try. Oops. Open. Equip. Use it. Use the letter. Aww. Aww. We can't read it. That's lame. Okay, let's talk to her father real quick. Father. Okay. Who's pacing eagerly. You there! Oh, wait, what was his voice? <laughs> he had a voice. I don't know. I don't remember. I think he had the little girl's voice. No. Which I don't feel like doing. Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you, th you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here because you before you could say boo. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met somewhere, someplace before? That was the creepy man, who was annoying, and he's still annoying. You guys should appreciate the lengths I go to for voices. You do go to great lengths. You better appreciate it. I go to very, 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 very great lengths to do the voices. And it hurts sometimes. Okay, talk to the Letterman. Letterman! David! My friend, David Letterman. Good morning! Letters for the link, we have what? We have two letters. Here's your letter. Cash on delivery. Could I just, just skip the text, please? Oh my goodness. Yes, we'll pay. We actually have to. To the steam Mr. Fairy Person. Enclosed, uh, or sorry, thank you very much for your purchase. Enclosed is the incredible chart. The chart will show you where you can find the Triforce charts. I want you to use it to find lots of them. They are my favorite kind of charts. Also, sir, have you been ch checking your Tingle chart? Have you seen those giant fairy marks? Follow the chart to them and your fortune will increase greatly. Tingle. It would have been really funny if enclosed in there was a silver rupee. So we pay 200. Yeah. To get a silver rupee, because that's the kind of thing Tingle would do. Who's gonna let her? Where have you been, big brother? Like, in the three hours that we've been gone, that I've been gone, I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? At first, I was really scared, but they're actually, actually nice. For pirates, I mean. 
Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. Aww. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad too. Nud, nudge, is a little strange, but nice too. As for Sensa, Sensa. Senza. Senza. His beard makes him look really mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Senza. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. Hehe. <laughs> As usual, Nico is always fooling around. And he won't take anything seriously. Actually, he seems mad not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? Hmm. <laughs> I helped them out all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it. So I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? Forgot about that. I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take good care of myself, so you do sure to make to do. Go. <laughs> Reading is hard. <laughs> Red Ruby. Good. Mail the thing. Do we have to pay for this? I hope not. The, this post box is near Dragonroost Island. Postage is only 5 rupees. Awesome. Wait, so this charges us based off proximity? I don't know. That's what it sounds like. Interesting. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Maggie's. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Yeah. Silence! Oh, what was his voice? I don't know. Um, Silence! I can't remember. I'm telling you we don't allow postmen here. Be gone, be gone. Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way from the Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. <laughs> Silence! Be gone, be gone! Then, please, be reasonable. Can you at least sign for the letter? <laughs> Silence! Be gone, be gone! Just a... Uh, sorry, that's him saying that? The postman. Just acknowledge I was here. Yeah. Silence! Be gone, be gone! Rock! Foolish man. Now you've made me angry. I cannot even look you in the face any longer. Or fear I might rip it off. <laughs> I must go somewhere to cool my feathers. For being angry, he sure doesn't look like it. Well, what a wretched, unruly postman. I don't know anything about this any Mr. Mo in any Forsaken Fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter, Maggie? I don't care whose letters these are. They'll never reach her on my watch. Okay, leave. Now we're going to go to the cafe, because that's where he's going to cool his feathers. He's going to drown his sorrows in good old milk. Nothing happened in that loading screen. Nova just tried to strangle me, and I fought off bravely. This guy's name is David Letterman. Because of course it is. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'm sorry I had you had to witness me fly off the handle like that at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man was just... Never mind. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo, but as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't let permit me to give it to her. What a stubborn, meddling old man, refusing to s accept letters from the postman? Who sir heard of such nonsense? I went to great trouble to go all the way f to the sur Forsaken Fortress, and it was the most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. If I don't deliver this letter, then I'm a failure of a delivery trade. Uh, then I am a failure of the delivery trade. But I have other deliveries waiting to be made, and I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postman on his premises. But surely he would allow you in the place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my stead? What do you say? Uh, sure. <laughs> Actually, I'm hungry is an option. Honestly? You, young man, are a lifesaver. It is it truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. Second letter! This letter has a sort of stink to it. Take it to Maggie. <laughs> I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. This guy, that guy's actually pretty cool. I think we met him at Dragon Roost. It's possible. He was one of the guys walking around. It is very possible, and he's cool. He's kind of cool looking. They're all, right. all cool looking. 
No, he's cooler looking. Better than Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright, mmm. Eh. You mean Quill? No, the Phoenix Wright. That's his name. Because he's a Phoenix. Phoenix Wright. I didn't happen to notice that his feathers were on fire. No, but if you kill him, they will be. Ah. Uh -huh. And the thing is, is that... <laughs> <laughs> he's second in command, so he's the chieftain's right hand man. See, double pun. You like it? You proud? I don't understand. Get it, Phoenix Wright, right hand man. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Man. Okay, sorry. Is that? Is that? Could it be? The letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams. Let me read it this instant. Um. This is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. <laughs> Did you hear that? Those words. This means, I mean, it must mean, can it be? Is this his marriage proposal? It must be. At last, my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Toodly dee, toodly la. From here on out, today will be the anniversary of our true love for me and Mo. Oh, it comple completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of true love, I give you this. We got a piece of heart. <laughs> you better appreciate it. Toodly too. Treasure it always. And that. Goodbye. Is Forever. Going to be it for this video. Go ahead and leave. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode my face is tingly from voices so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Please do not throw that pot because it will cost us a lot of money. And join us next time for another Bow Blaze. Earth, b sorry. Oh, cop, no. Uh, Sky, no. We'll pick, no. Wind Waker. Or FNAF.